Hello, this is Top Secret, and welcome to a Civ 4 modding tutorial. Today we're going to figure out how to make a new mod for Civilization 4 Beyond the Sword, and we're going to add a unit to the mod so that every civilization can build it. So today we um, are working on the mod, so I'm going to show you how to make one. You need to start in your Civilization 4 folder, and then you'll go to Beyond the Sword. This is my directory. This tells where it is on my computer. You need to find it, as we talked about during the directory tutorial. And then you'll go to mods. Now, to make a new mod is pretty easy. As you can see, I have a lot, because I have a lot of projects. You need to be in the actual files. There is, if you go back up, a Civ 4, let's see, Civ 4 mods folder for... If you go through here, there's a Civ4 custom mod shortcut. It takes you to your documents folder. But this folder is not in your main directory. And the problem with it is sometimes it will cause problems with how the mod works, how it loads, etc. So instead of loading it from there, we're going to put it here. You do need administrator privileges on Windows 10. I don't know about others. But we're going to add a new folder, and we're going to call this the Siege Mod, because we are going to add a ballista to the game. So, this is called the Siege Mod. All you have to do is make a new folder with the name of the mod you want. Now, you need to load up the base game. This will create a, a INI file, which is something that's handy and if you do this the game will set it up for you all right now that we've loaded up the game we'll press advanced load a mod scroll down to whatever you named your mod ours is called siege mod in the video what this does is it creates an INI file so it tells the mod certain instructions for when this mod loads only not for the base game you can wait to do this till after you add things but I just wanted to show you now the game is typical normal units civilizations nothing's changed from the base game now If you go to here, you'll see that the files here and there's different things. I won't explain all these things right now because we don't need them for basic moddings. So all these things are here. It just gives certain options. If you want to unload modular XML, which I'll have a video on later, it changes to one. We can put it at one anyway. It won't hurt. All right. Now to make your mod, your mod will mirror this folder. Specifically, it will have an assets folder with things in it. So go back to mods, go to your mod, press new folder, and type in assets. This will allow you to change things. Now, let's open a new window of Explorer so I can show you this. Now, here, in this mod's assets folder, you'll mirror things in the Beyond the Sword assets folder. So what you're going to do is we are going to add XML and we are going to add art. These two things will allow us to make a new mod. All right. Now, on this screen, we're going to use Civilization Fanatic Center to download a new folder. We're going to download the Ballista from Kathy. She made this a while back. So press Civ4 Downloads. Then we'll press Unit Graphics. And while I know which page this is on, we're just going to search Ballista. It'll load up real quick. And then right here is Ballista version 2.0 this is the latest version all right download now all right 
we're going to put this in mods, siege mod, assets, and this is art. So save it to your art folder. Right here. Now extract the file. And we're going to make, okay. So once you have assets, you're going to go into art, and press new folder, type in units, and drag the ballista there. Now I'm gonna rename this to just ballista. That way it's easier to type. Okay. And now this is a ballista, which I opened with NIFScope, but if you don't have NIFScope, that's okay right now. You don't need it for this tutorial. You do need a XML editor, but you can just use Notepad if you have it. Okay, so once you've placed it in your art units ballista folder, you'll have all those files there. We'll come back and use those later. Now we're going to go to XML, type new, folder and make sure you type exactly units. Now go into the beyond the sword folder XML units and you want to copy two things unit class and units. Paste those here. Click unit class and scroll down. We're going to put this right after the catapult in the folders. So go to catapult. Okay. Now, this is how to edit XML. You copy the unit class and unit infos from Beyond the Sword. When the game reads the mod, it will find that these two folders are here. So it won't use these in the base game. It will use the ones you pasted. So now that you're editing these, copy this whole thing this is a unit these are tags and this whole thing is a type of unit so to create a new one we're going to copy and then you can press Control V right here and paste it now you see that there are two unit catapults we want to change unit class catapult to unit class ballista and then if you want to refer it to a text file which we could edit later you can type in text key unit ballista in all caps or if you just want to do it this way this limits it to one language and it doesn't work very well with accents but if you're just in a hurry you can just type in ballista I'll show you the other way in another video but right now we'll just type in ballista right here this is what the name of the unit class will be called in game okay in civilization 4 there are are units and then unique units can replace units so that's why this is a unit class and we also have to tell it what the normal one is that any Civ can build in case there's a unique unit version of it so we call it unit ballista this is unit class ballista save your file and then go edit unit infos now we're going to base this off the catapult again so keep scrolling down till you see catapult under and there's lots of things that attack catapults with flanking strikes. So ignore all those till you see class, unit class catapult, unit catapult. And we're going to copy this whole thing. Now you'll see that there's Watcha, the unique unit replacement. Just like I told you, it's still unit class catapult, but it's replaced by this. And you're going to copy this. So copy what the whole thing from unit info it looks like this all the way down to the bottom right before watcha now we need to scroll down past watcha there's the end again right here and before trebuchet we're going to put our new one paste scroll up okay now here we're going to change this we copied catapult because there's so many different tags you have to write that copying it is easier I'll put ballista here and ballista here. Now each of these tags represents something about the unit. Nuns are usually empty and so that does nothing. 
this, for example, this is the combat tag. It tells it if it's a siege unit, melee, archer, etc. This tells the default unit AI. What does it do by default? Here is the part where we put ballista. It's under description. So each of these tags contains some information, either a number or a text string, which is these words right here. Now we're going to change this to ballista, but if we don't write it in another file, which we won't, since I can show it to you that way, we'll put ballista. All right, so we'll set the tech requirement for building this unit. Let's scroll down and find it. Now, all these things are important, but we're not gonna change them all right now. But these different things tell it, for example, here's the pre-required tech. So what tech do we wanna change it to? Let's change it to mathematics. Now you have to spell it not according to the in-game name, but according to the in-file game. However, I know it's mathematics. You can check all those out if you go to Beyond the Sword, XML text, although most of them are exactly what you think they are. So tech mathematics is what the game refers to as tech mathematics. Now we're going to change the cost of this to 60. It's more expensive than a catapult. And it's weaker, but let's say that it does one thing differently. Let's give it. So what I did here is I gave it cost. This is how many hammers it costs, base. So we increased it to 60. I decreased the strength. I combat is an integer. That's a number, specifically a whole number. So it cannot be decimal. Um, it's four. So I reduced it by one compared to the normal catapult. And now lastly, we're going to edit it so that it has a better city attack. Let's give it. 50% city attack, so it's stronger at attacking cities by default than a catapult. So you might want to build these. In fact, let's scroll down. And now there's one more thing we need to change. So we changed the city attack, we changed the combat, we changed the costs, we changed the tech, and we changed all these names. One more thing we need to change is the art defines. This tells it what to look like. Right now, it will still look like a catapult. Now, if we add art defined to ballista, it just won't automatically do it. We have to tell it where the new filed files are that we downloaded. So now that we added art defined ballista, go down. Now, back in your Beyond the Sword folder, go back up to XML, and there's one called art. Click it and copy art defined unit. Now go to your mod, scroll up, and make a new folder under XML called art. Here you want to paste the art defines unit. Now we're going to base this off the catapult. Scroll up. It will sound like a catapult, but that's okay for our purposes. So what I did is I copied this whole section from unit art info to unit art info. See why notepad plus plus is so useful? It tells you where it ends. <laughs> All right, now here we're gonna change this to what we referred to it in the other file. So this is saying, hey, go look in the art defines file for art def unit ballista. And here we're adding art def unit ballista. We'll use the same button because I don't know if Kathy added it. Okay, button is a little picture that the unit uses. Art units ballista. Did she add a button? I don't think so. So no button yet. We'll just leave it as catapult. That's okay. Now here's what you want to change. If you click here you'll see that in our mod art is a folder, units is a folder, and ballista is a folder. And then the name of this ballista is based, it's based off of the Chimer unique unit, but it's just a ballista. So we're going to copy that name. So here we put R units, and then you can type in 
ballista. So it's following this R units ballista. It starts inside your assets folder. So you don't need to type out all this directory. You just need to type in R units ballista. And then you're going to type in the unit name, which is Chimer Elephant Ballista dot NIF. So it tells it to go to this. This is the actual unit file. Also, I think this one is still an elephant. So we need to refer all of them to this one because it's just a ballista. So here is a shader NIF. A shader NIF has shaders, so it looks better. However, the unit only has one um, fault file and it doesn't have a shader NIF. The other one is still just an elephant right here. So we need to change it to just be the same as this. If it does this, then it just defaults to the same one and it doesn't use the extra art. Now it has unique animations as well. So we need to refer it to that. This is the KFM, it's unique animations. Type in ballista here. Again, this is telling it to go R units ballista. And then you'll paste this name again because see the KFM file right here? It's Chimer Elephant Ballista.kfm. So we're telling it use the animations in the folder that were provided. All right, we'll leave the shadow and the trail the same. Um, sometimes what's really useful here is the scale. It might be too big or too small, but we won't know that until we load up the mod. So save the art. You change the, the name, which lets it refer to it. We did not change the button. We'll talk about buttons in another video. We changed the NIF, the KFM, and the shader NIF. And go back and watch it if you miss something. See if you can't pick it up. And so what we did is, let's review. We added a new unit class called Ballista. We added the unit's information, how strong it is, what it does. And then we added its art defines. So now, if you saved all three files, then we can put everything down. And we're going to load up the game and then load up a mod. Later, in another video, I'll show you how to make a shortcut to go directly to your mod. almost done the mod is basically created so congratulations you made a new mod all we have to do is load it up whoops not options siege mod now if you mess something up with mistyping it will show up here when it says init XML Usually. <laughs> uh, if the game can read it, it will take it. If it can't read it, then it will throw up an error and say, you messed something up. So uh, if you have any more problems, just post them in a thread at Civ Fanatics, and I'll try to help you. But it should work. It'll take it a minute because it's trying to load up, and it has to reread through your mods folders. Okay, press Civilpedia so we can see. Press unit classes and you'll see, although we didn't change the button, Ballist is here and it has our changes. And now it's way too big, at least in here. We have to load it up in game to test it, but we'll talk about that in the next video. This is what I was talking about. It's called Ballista here because we typed that in, but this is trying to refer it to a text file. So we'll fix that in the next video, which will teach you about buttons and changing the size and just editing different things. But we now have a new unit that gets a bonus versus city attacks and still does collateral damage and it requires mathematics, not um, construction like catapult. So congratulations, you! if you followed the steps, you created your first mod with a new unit. I'll see you next time and happy modding.